Okay, today I'm gonna make a go-kart for just $20 worth of material. It's half inch pipe. The 10 foot pieces were $9 a piece. The small 12 inch piece was another $2, that's $20. And I'm gonna make a go-kart frame with it. This will be the engine, that Harbor Freight engine everybody's using. And I want to make clear that um, this may sound confusing, but half inch pipe is actually much bigger than half an inch. I wrote it down here. The ID inside diameter is about 5 eighths. The OD outside diameter about 7 eighths. So even though it's called half inch pipe, it is much bigger than a half inch. That's why I'm using that. And if you're going to try and do this same build, I have a cut list here. The first piece, I'm going to cut a piece 20 inches. That'll be the front axle. That may seem kind of narrow, but uh, that'll leave me two pieces, 49 inches each, to make the main frame. If I made the front axle any wider, then the frame rails would be shorter, and I don't want to make it too small that I can't fit on it to even drive it. So that's the first piece. Then the second piece, I'm going to cut a piece 23 inches for the rear axle. Yes, it's going to be a one wheel drive rear axle just to keep it simple and keep the cost down. The 23 inch will match up pretty well with the 20 inch front axle by the time I add the spindles and everything. 11 inches, that's a cross member between the frame rails. That may seem kind of narrow, but in order for the frame rails to line up with the rear axle and the sprocket with the engine, this is this is how that has to go. So that's kind of how it's going to have to be. We'll get to that later if uh, you can't really picture it right now any better than what I tried to show. 13 inches that would be the steering support in the old plans they use uh, a hoop I'm just coming straight up. 10 and a half that would be the top of the steering wheel that seems kind of small too but I don't want the steering wheel as wide as the frame rails it would look out of proportion and the bigger the steering wheel the more likely you already hit your knees on the turn so I like that there and then two pieces four and a half that would be another part of the steering wheel then twelve and a half inches or about that would be for the back seat but I want to make that equal to the frame rows which should come out around twelve and a half and then two uprights for the seat back at twelve inches so that would make it pretty much twelve and a half by twelve and a half so the seat back would look square and that's also about the height of the engine so that should come up pretty nice or you'll see it when I get that far. A couple of pieces, two inches, that would be the spindle tubes. I'm using the same half inch pipe because of the 5 8 ID. So I'll use 5 8 bolts, but you could use half inch bolts if you could find tubes that would fit the half inch better. And the one and a half inch, that would be the sleeves for um, the steering shaft if you're using a 5 8 rod because of the the half inch pipe with the 5 8 ID, 5 8 shaft works pretty good with that. I have a piece here you can see uh, the half inch pipe works pretty good with the 5 8 rod. But I'm going to use a piece of this tubing I had here with some of that half inch rod. So that'll be my steering sh shaft at least for this build. And this tube here is actually left over from when I redid some control arm bushings for uh, a golf cart of mine. The pedals, with all those half inch rods that I had, the steering arms right here. 
and that's about it so I need to start doing some cutting and I'll be right back oh the first piece I'm gonna cut the threaded ends off both ends cut the 20 inch piece and then divide in half what's left which should be around 49 inches so I'll cut some metal and I'll be back okay so I got everything cut well except for the seat back because I want to make that equal to the frame when the frame's welded there's the steering shaft steering wheel front axle I'm gonna do a 10 degree angle for the camber for the front when it's you know twisted upright there's the steering shaft support which should be strong enough it'll be at like a 45 degree angle not totally straight up and down you'll see when it's welded and again for the frame width and everything it's because the motor mount will go on there something like that for the wheel to line up with the clutch on the engine and everything so that's where I'm at right now and next I'll do a little bit of welding and I'll be back again to show you the pieces welded separate from the frame and then weld the frame and the frame or weld the frame too and then uh, I'll show you that and then we'll put everything together and well that's about it for now uh, you'll see some of this welded up uh, when I get back okay I just want to show you on the front axle here the 10 degree thing again kingpin inclination I think some call it or uh, camber um, this would be my spindle brackets it's Uh, two and a half inch square tube with one end obviously cut off and uh, drilled through and I also wanted to share that I like to make these tubes a little long so if I'm off center I can cut off whichever end I need to to get it back on center or even with the other side you can see they're plenty long right now so I have room to move either way to get all of this together just wanted to point that out before I did any welding didn't want to redo the whole video to edit this in so um, that's it I'll be back again okay I'm back um, I did a little welding some of the sub assemblies I guess you could call it um, it's a flux core welder so I still need the white wheel down the weld but there's the pedals rear axle with the bolts on it on the ends the steering shaft, the steering wheel, uh, steering shaft, sorry, steering support here, steering shaft. Uh, the frame, yes, there's only one cross member, but I think I'll be okay there. And there's the front axle. It's kind of dark in here, so this may not come out real clear. I hope it does, because I obviously can't redo it. Once I've already cut and welded, I don't want to do it again. Well, I could, but don't really want to. Um, Next time uh, I film, I think uh, it should be at least on four wheels. Um, maybe I'll do um, more of the spindles and show that the steering support and piecing it together. Uh, I didn't cut the seat back yet. I could maybe do that and come back. But here's where I'm at right now. okay I'm back it's the end of the day this is all I want to do anymore today still need some work but this is where I'm at I still need to clean up the welds 
paint, grease, nuts and bolts, but it's getting there. And this was all just one day. Not too bad, I suppose. Uh, maybe next time you see it, I'll have uh, the engine on it. That's it for now.